So when it comes to HTML5 tooling, there's a wide spectrum of things that are available to you. So I mentioned that we're using Sublime Text using this course, and that happens to be my favorite editor for doing HTML, JavaScript, and CSS because it's really lightweight and it's very extensible. But let's cover what some of the other options are out there. Dreamweaver, I'm sure you've heard of, is a very popular web development tool, and it actually now has really good support for HTML5. Now, a lot of hardcore web developers don't like Dreamweaver because it's kind of a big program. It does a lot of things for you, which is great. So you just have to try it out and see if it's right for you. Personally, I prefer a lighter weight code editor when doing web development. Now, another tool that we're working on right now, which is currently in preview, is called Adobe Edge. And we're going to look at that later in the course. But this is essentially an animation tool. You can think of it similar to Flash Professional to allow you to animate using web technologies like HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. So it's a tool built from the ground up to do animations for HTML5. So definitely check that out if you go to labs.adobe.com forward slash technologies forward slash edge. This will take you to a page where you can download this preview version of the tool. Now, another really popular tool with web developers is Aptana Studio. And this is a full featured IDE for, again, HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And it's actually based inside of Eclipse. So you might like that, the fact that it's in Eclipse, or you might not like that. Another one that I wanted to highlight is called WebStorm. And this is from a company called JetBrains. And they make some of the most powerful code editors out there for a whole bunch of different languages. And this WebStorm's tool is actually really advanced. It allows you to do a lot of things that no other editors allow you to do. And you definitely want to check that out to see if it's right for you. But those are just some of the options available for developing HTML5 content. Now, again, the nice thing about HTML is that you don't have to compile it. You can write it in Notepad. You know, you can do it in any text editor whatsoever. So you definitely have a wide variety of choices to choose from.